Hi, I'm Jonathan, a year 3 student currently pursuing a diploma in mechanical engineering from the School of Engineering and you're watching Of Course NP. So today I'll be showing you what a day of a life in an NP student in my course is like. Let's go! So today I'll be actually having two classes, the first of which is actually a practical and the second will be a tutorial. But before that, I was actually craving some mala from Makan Place. So, hi. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna eat up and then see you soon. So today I'm actually having a practical for the module Machines and Materials, where we actually learn about static and dynamics. So more specifically, it's like trying to understand the buckling of columns in building structures. So for example, when designing or constructing a building structure, we have to ensure that the design structure does not change shape whenever a load is applied. Otherwise, this will cause damage to the structural elements, which can be observed through cracks. Hence, that is why we learn about the strength and weaknesses of our materials to ensure the safety of everyone. For this practical lesson, we are trying to identify the deflection of three different metals, namely steel, aluminium and brass. So to do that, we had a simple setup and we actually placed a rod on the machine and ensured that the dial gauge in the middle was set to zero. Then periodically add different weights onto the structure. The dial gauge would then indicate to us the amount of deflection that has occurred and then we'll note it down on a piece of paper. So after collecting all of the results that we need, we will then have to produce a graph. So normally we have to manually work one out, however we had a computer which assisted us in producing the graph upon keying in our various recorded results. Most of us have three different kinds of classes, which are theory lessons, tutorials, and practicals. So this practicals actually allows us to visualize and apply the theories taught in earlier mechanic modules for us to have a better understanding of the concepts. So now that I just finished my practical, I'm actually at the atrium where I'll be having my asynchronous tutorial lesson with my friend. So say hi! Hi! Alright, so in this module called Engineering System Design, we actually learn about how to interpret and apply engineering drawings as a form of communicating tool for design and manufacturing of products. In simpler terms, we are simply translating a working engineering system into the English language. So for those who may be wondering, why did I pursue mechanical engineering instead of all the other engineering courses available? Personally for me, I felt that mechanical engineering was the diploma that attracted me the most because of its broad based and versatile nature. So this course actually allows me to build mechanical engineering skills for a variety of departments from designing and developing to actually manufacturing. This actually provides me with a strong foundation in engineering in which I could pivot from further down the road. After a long day of studying, my favourite spot to chill and study with my friends would be at the atrium. So as you can see, there are plenty of greenery to provide my eyes with a little rest, as well as plenty of benches where I can have study sessions with my friends. We also have power sockets for our phones and laptops, and we even have a vending machine if we wish to grab a quick snack or a drink. And that's the end of my day here at NP. I'll be heading home now, but if you guys are interested to find out about our other courses that we have, do check out our MPIG series. It's called, of course, MPI, our IGTV segment. Bye-bye!